All right, guys, I am going to try on the Zalandi FKM rubber strap on my Seamaster. I'm going to do things a little bit differently, um, typically with a watch video, uh, you know, they're coming and going so quickly. Um, but this is a strap that is going to hopefully elevate my wearability on my Seamaster. Not that, you know, I have a problem with the bracelet. The bracelet is awesome, but it's nice to have a little bit of variety and options with this guy so this video is going to basically be kind of more my first impressions of it um, the only time i've shown it was in an unboxing and so now i'm going to uh, install it and i'm going to wear it for a little bit and see how i feel about it because you guys know i'm typically a bracelet guy but um, thankfully they included this really nice um it's i don't even know if this is even really a cloth for you know wiping things down so much as it basically provides a nice work surface here. So um, I will attempt to do this on camera. So, and I've been wearing this guy for the last couple of days. Let me see if I can adjust this. I'll get this down here. Hopefully I don't knock it over. Now I don't recommend sizing your straps or changing your straps, um, you know, when you are recording on a camera like this because I have to kind of work around it. So. The probability of me scratching up my lugs is extremely high. So I'm going to try to minimize that the best I can, but um, I'm sure I am, it's in the morning, so I'm sure I'm going to do something cringeworthy. So you have been warned, um, but keep in mind that no one will be injured other than potentially me in this making of this video. If a stainless steel watch on the underside of its lugs get scratched nothing will change everything will be fine so i am going to harvest the spring bars on this guy the owner of zelandi said that i should be able to use the factory spring bars no problem so let's just for mock-up here let's oh wow the fitment is going to be very tight so the the other thing they do because this stuff is so flexible is they actually like kind of infuse in there there's like abs plastic that actually is in here to keep its rigidity and structure and everything so uh, that just slides in there really nice now this is the part where i'll probably scratch something potentially because i cannot see what i'm doing try to get at least one side in there potentially then maybe this side. Oop. Yeah, this is where, like, if you were to uh, have a set of, like, reading glasses or something, good lighting and not a camera in your way, where you would have a much higher success rate. So I think they both popped in. I'll, I'll double check that, but, you know, wiggle it around a little bit, give it a little tug. And that is in there. Wow, that looks really good. That is very tight, but not like not like impossible or super struggle to uh, get it installed. So, all right, I got it fully fitted in there. Did the little tug test. I actually put my reading glasses on. It looked really close. Made sure they were fully seated in the holes, even to the point where I'll take a little bit of extra effort and I'll take my fork and I'll just go in there and kind of push to make sure it's uh, fully seated. So I don't have any fear at this point of it popping off wrist. Man, look at how much it changes the look of the watch. And I love that it's just so well fitted and drops down. This Let's get this on wrist. This will, So this will be my first time putting this on wrist with this strap. And there it is. Um, insanely comfortable. I was kind of worried, to be honest with you, I was kind of worried that it was going to feel a little like watch head heavy, like top heavy, I guess. Um, and that is not the case. It just feels fitted. Now, I will say that uh, maybe a little bit longer strap potentially could be a thing. I'm not sure. I'll have to look to see if that's an option. Um, it's not too short, but if you know you have a larger wrist than me, um, you know I have seven and a quarter. Uh, that's I'm getting towards the tail end of things. And I haven't been outside playing around in any heat yet, so I don't have any wrist swell yet. So, um, and you're going to probably wear these a little bit tighter than you think you will, just because you don't really want it flopping around. But I got to say, man, that thing, it feels perfect. It feels 
I, I don't. There's nothing I could improve other than uh, I will talk to him about maybe a potential longer piece here, but I guess I don't really need it. So excellent first look at it, guys. I will update you as I give it some more wrist time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, let me know. They do have different colors. And yes, I guess some people could say it, it is uh, pricey, I guess, at 175 I think. But uh, you're getting what you paid for. I mean, this is top-notch quality materials. It's going to last. It's, uh, you know, it's materials that are meant to be subjected to uh, UV rays and uh, exposures to different waters and uh, environments and stuff. So uh, well worth it. And I feel like you just don't want to cheap out. You don't want to buy a $10 strap on your $5,000 watch. You want to have a premium strap. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid.